ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Finding Asheville podcast with Nathan Miller. What is one lesson that you learned since arriving in Asheville that you wish you would have known before moving here? It's hard to say wish I would like wish I would have known is a difficult thing because it kind of sounds like if I had known this one I wouldn't have come here. Yeah. Um, there's almost nothing like that about Asheville. I mean, there is nothing that, that to the extent where had I known that I would not have come. Mm-hmm. Everything here has been really, really positive for me. I mean, we knew a few little things about it when we decided to move here. Because what attracted us was that it was, you know, it would be a place where we could eat vegan food, like, and kind of be accepted as just different type of people. Because we're, you know, by the time we went vegan and we were still in the suburbs, it was just like, you know, we were like weirdos now. Yeah. Which is okay, but, but I wanted to be a weirdo, like, where, like, there was also restaurants where I could eat at. <laughs> that kind of weirdo. So, there's been nothing, but we've only discovered great things about Asheville. What I, the lesson that I learned from it is... How much I really, really do enjoy friends and family, like like my friends back home, and yeah, and how much I really miss being there with them, and you know how much I really like love when they're gonna come visit or when I'm gonna go visit them. Mm-hmm. Not to say that I don't want to come back to Asheville when that visit is over, but uh, I I just realized like how important that is. I was always someone who thought ah family doesn't matter that much. Like I have a good relationship with my family, but I don't need to really put any time. Or energy into that relationship because it just happens and it's yeah. good. Same with friends. I mean, I have, I have some great friends who I'll see on the weekends. Sometimes I will go, even back home, I'd go two months without seeing a friend who lived like five minutes away. Uh, and I just sort of rationalized and said that was because everybody was busy and had kids and you just, you can't really do that now like in this modern world. You can't, you can't make time to see a friend every single week. Mm-hmm. But having moved here and, and being eight or ten hours away by car from those people, just made me realize like that that really is an important part of my life and it's something that needs energy and I wish when I had been closer I would have taken a little bit better advantage of it mm-hmm. both from a that sort of standpoint like the feel good like relationship standpoint right. and from like using my parents as a babysitter would have been yeah much, I should have done it a lot more times than we actually did 